everyone, it's this Tanya here with the Memory Lane Keepsakes and welcome back to my channel. As you guys know, my videos are made strictly for adults who are 18 years and older. Thank you so much for respecting that. In today's video, I am sharing a project share. This project share is actually a VR for Agape for Gigi. I have created something for her Memory Debts Challenge and I just want to come on here and share that. So I welcome you guys to my channel today. If you are visiting for the first time, thank you so much for clicking on this video. YouTube is a lot of fun. There's challenges all the time. You can go through and just see some of my videos from different challenges that I have entered. And also I have different things going on, on my channel as well. So today I'm actually sharing a project that I created for a YouTube pal. And I wanna go ahead and take you through a walkthrough on some of the things that I use. So if you are coming back, thank you so much for coming back to support me yet again. All right, so one of the things that I used was this die right here. I've never pulled this die out before, and that's what I love about these challenges is the fact you can pull out things that's already in your craft stash that you've bought in the past and go ahead and use it to create something beautiful for a YouTube pal or just family and friends in general. So this is one of the um, dies that I did use. This is actually like a little nesting set that I have in my collection, but this is one of the pieces that I use uh, for this particular project. And then I also pulled out my Heidi Swipe die and one of the word dies, which is the word happy. I have several from her collection and this is one of the ones that I chose to use. In addition to that, I also pulled out my Tim Holtz Ideology Big Chat. This are the stickers and it comes with so many different words, which is really phenomenal to be able to pull this out and add um, different words to your projects for extra um, meaning. So I love that. So it comes in the white there and it also comes in this black and you have a lot of different words to choose from, which I really love the options. In addition to that, I was able to pull this new stamp um, set out that I've had um, quite some time in my stash. This is called Sweet Nothings and I use the envelope on this um, stamp set here which is really beautiful and I love all the stamps that's in this collection. I cannot wait to get to the rest of them. And then I also um, use this stamp right here, but I ended up changing it um, as I went on with my creation. I challenged myself for this particular project this time to use more of my stickers. If you are a crafter, you probably have a lot of stickers in your stash and I wanted to challenge myself within this challenge so that way I can just um, put myself up to the test for that. So what I did is I pulled out a few. One of the stickers that I pulled out were, was these um, dots, these color dots from Dollar Tree. So I did use quite a bit of those. And then I used this sticker set right here. And I don't, I think I got this from Dollar Tree, but I'm not sure. Um, this is an older set that I had a long time ago. So I used one from this section here. Now on for my creation. This is what I created for her. So I made a card to match my memory debt. So this is the card right here. And what I've done here is I've taken a four by six um, card that was already um, together that basically what I did was I embossed the envelopes on the front in different um, directions. And then I used the two dies for the background and also the word happy. I added some Spectre No War stickers on the front of the word happy to give it some sparkle. And then I also added some of those sticker color dots to bring out some color since I chose to leave the um, envelopes plain. So I love the way the embossing looks because as you see, there is a beautiful glare and a shimmer on there. I love the way that's raised. And in the inside, I wrote the recipient a note but what I did is I created pockets on the side. So there are pockets on here. So when she opens this up, she's gonna see my message, okay? And I don't wanna open it up because I wanna keep that private. And if she chooses to read it, that's, person, that's fine with me. Um, so what I've done here is I've stuck some extra goodies in here for her. And one of the things that I'm gifting her is this stamp set right here because she recently celebrated a birthday. It's a belated birthday at this point, but still, why not have a birthday every day, you know? So I was still wanting to go ahead and send her something sweet for that. And I added, I shared some of the planner stickers that I received in a winning from someone here on YouTube. And I apologize, I don't have the name um, in front of me here, but I'm gonna share some of my planner stickers with 
with her and get these out here so these are the planner stickers I'm going to be sharing and now on for my memory desk creation that's in another section in this card here that I made so I'm not going to steal this because I want her to be able to get to it very easily so when she slides it out this is the memory desk card right here so this is what I created so I made this extra thick and sturdy by using a lot of 110 pound cardstock but you can also use cereal boxes if you do not own 110 pound cardstock paper that's the ideal for you I did um, cut this right here with using my Cricut and now I do officially have a die I have one memory desk die in my collection now but this was done with the Cricut before I got the die so I had a few extra ones that I had already pre-cut and layered them with different colors and what I've done here is I placed the sticker in the center and I've added all the colorful dots in the background. I went back and I added those chit chat stickers from the Tim Holtz stickers and then I chose to bling those out by adding some shimmer to them. So I did that and you see the glare from the sticker as well from this one here in the center. And I love the way this background paper looks. That's from another collection. I don't have that collection out right now but you guys seen that before. And on the back I've added my information that she's requested so my main goal was to use stickers and also create a card from scratch that would match this memory desk card is what I chose to do for her challenge and so she has a memory desk challenge going on and I am so excited I was able to participate this is Tanya here with memory lane keepsakes I hope this makes it to you in time guys I will place a link for her video challenge at the bottom Thank you so much for watching. If you not have have you if you have not already subscribed, I would love for you to do so by clicking the subscribe button. So that way you can see what's going on here at my channel and also go show Agape for Gigi some love too on her channel. And then in addition to that, go ahead and comment because I love to read your comments. And don't forget to click the bell so that way you'll know when I release new videos. And thank you guys so much for following me and watching me. And have a blessed day and happy crafting. Bye-bye.